Welcome to Deep Thought, the importance of a healthy diet. And uh, this one is for uh, one of my supporters, Fabrice uh, DeLima. Um, he wanted me to address the, you know, how a healthy diet um, affects all of this. I'm going to tell you what. The ability of someone thinking and using their mental processes is very much affected by their diet, right? Very much affected. Like, I know uh, people who, uh, you know, like, you have some groups, you have some groups, people out there, uh, one group in the black community in particular, who are into psychic development, Right? developing the abilities of the mind and everything and there's some fantastic stuff um i won't discuss them over the air because it, it's on some deep stuff but let's just say we got some real life x-men out there right but one of the big things with this group is they're vegan and like anybody who gets into that area and we probably got some people like developing their intuition or just being able to think clear you know, they they don't eat as much meat, right? Because one of the things that happens is, like with meat or a lot of heavy foods, you can't really think. Like you can change you can change personalities and everything. You can change somebody's behavior just by changing their diet. Because one of the things that happens is, you know, when you eat that food, one is affecting your whole body. It's fuel. You know, now if you are uh, like a like if you have a sports car or something like that, and I haven't been, I haven't had one, but this is you know, you usually have these high performance engines and stuff. You probably ain't putting like some like grocery store gas in it or some cheap stuff. In fact, you want to put in the high octane stuff. You ain't gonna put in the low octane uh, fuel. What's well, the same thing? Because it's not gonna perform as well. Now, you could probably put a uh, low-octane fume into some, like, economy car or something like that, but you're not going to put it into some, you know, high-performance sports car. What's well, the same thing with humans? You know, how are you going to perform or think and you got some bad food in your system? You know, you trying to digest it and everything, or it's heavy, or it's clogging up your system, right? A lot of people just have some problems out here because their systems are clogged. You know, they can't think. And that's because of the food they eat, or they're not digesting it properly. You know, they're not chewing it properly. I mean, it's not even just the food, but how you chewing it and everything. In fact, a big problem out here, I'm going to tell you what, a big problem out here, and this is a little bit on some conspiracy stuff, a lot of people ain't thinking the same way they do, because look at the food. Half the food is modified. You know, I saw something about uh, some type of cheese, some company's cheese. I can't remember which company it is. But because the FDA said since it's less than 51 percent, less than 51 percent cheese, they can't call it cheese. And I think this company just calls it singles. They don't actually have cheese on there. But you look at it, you might automatically think cheese. You buy it, you put it on your burger or whatever you want to do with it. But they technically can't call it cheese now. And you got a lot of stuff out here, genetically modified food and everything. You got uh, watermelons out here like, uh, I don't eat watermelon like I used to. Watermelons are good, but too many of them are seedless. And anybody who's really into health and uh, decent food or something, right, that's one of the first things they're thinking about. They're like, where can I find some seeded watermelons? Because usually the uh, seedless stuff, that's made through... Uh, that's made through genetic modification, right? It wasn't an accident, like navel oranges or something when you eat that. Uh, that came about through a mutation. That was a mutation, like where it didn't have seeds in it, right? Uh, but the other stuff, a lot of this stuff is genetically modified or something, and they do it just to, uh, you know, they do it just to... Uh, you know, either uh, preserve it or be able to grow a lot more of it. Or like a lot of meats out here, it's hard to find. Like they have to start, at, they start to advertise that this was corn fed, like beef or something like that. Because you got so many of these animals who are shot up through, shot up with uh, steroids and something like that, right? They shot up through steroids or something like that. Hold on a second. 
You know, and people are not thinking about how this affects them because, you know, they can have steroids, a whole bunch of stuff in it just to preserve it for, for as long as they do. Like, if you've seen a difference, like, I remember one time uh, years ago, you know, me, I love some buffalo wings, but I try not to think where they come from. But it was like years ago. It was like when I was young. And, you know, I was used to, like, those big round chickens and you know how they look. And everything nice and plump and juicy. And but then one of my relatives got some um, got a chicken from um, some Amish and brought it home. And I was looking at it, it's like, what's wrong with this chicken? It was like looking all scrawny. And you know, my aunt, grand aunt, she was just like, uh, that's how chicken's supposed to look, <laughs> right? You know, the skin was brown, you know, the meat was browner and everything, right? But it's probably healthier. It's probably healthy. It wasn't shot up through anything. Like food that's cooked fresh. Like if you have fresh food, like I had a, a deer one time. Like somebody actually hunted for it and everything. It was a very different taste from like maybe some steak. It was not just because it was deer, but it was just a different vibe. It's like you, you still feel it. Like shit. Kind of wish the friend I got it from, you know, it stayed with her redneck boyfriend. But, and I think I talked about this before because I missed that stuff I was getting from. I was like, I don't, Rom don't want to go up there by himself. So, but that's important. That's important. And it's like, you got to think, if you want to think clearer, think about what you're eating. If you want to think about your moods and everything. Like, if you, like, if you that type that it stay, it, like, you have a lot of anxiety uh, you have depression. Look at what you're eating. You have a lot of energy, especially that. Especially a lot of energy. Like every single person, and actually, you know what? I'm not going to say go vegan. I'm not going to say go vegan. You got some people, some hardcore vegans and stuff, and they act like, you know, you're the worst person in the world for eating meat or you less spiritual. But they, if you look at indigenous cultures around the world, they threw down on some meat. They threw down on some meat, and plus you got some indigenous cultures that believe, uh, you know, the plants that that the plants do talk. In fact, the plants have actually shown it's not even a belief. Science, medical science has shown they can respond to your voice and everything. So it's like, well, wait a minute, you eating their fruits? You eating stuff off of them? You know, sometimes you eating the fruit, it's the food himself. You eating the plants themselves and stuff. I mean, so everything is alive. Everything. You know, only way you can, like, avoid eating something without a consciousness is uh, eat dirt. And there's some arguments for that, too. But anyway, right? Look, if you really want to, if you have trouble thinking, right? That's a big thing. If you have trouble thinking, uh, look at the food you eat. If you're real nervous, what kind of food you eat? You know? Sometimes you can't, like, sometimes people, and every single person has to figure out, okay, what foods can I eat, what I can't eat. Some people could, they could eat, like, the whole half of a cow and be okay. Some people need to avoid it, like the champ. Like, like you know, they need, they need to avoid it. They need to, like, nah. Right? Because the, the key is, how do you think? Like me, I eat cherries like they crack. Or... Well, let me let me become updated like the opiates, right? I hate cherries like crazy, but then I've noticed I got a lot more energy because one of the things you want to do is look at how the food affects your body. Like one thing cherries do for me, I got some great ass bowel movements. <laughs> and one um, metaphysical teacher, excuse me, one metaphysical teacher said one time. He said, it's not so much what you put in your body, but just making sure it comes out. Well, cherries help it come out. And it's like, I'm, it's like I got more energy. It's like I've noticed, like, since I just started eating cherries, like, pretty much every day. Um, at least while they last. I've noticed my output, like, my work ethic, everything, energy is, like, better. Right? You know, one thing I, you know, I, for the most part, avoid dairy. For the most part, right? And I had to give up some ice cream, but you know, and I noticed like, yeah, I'm I'm noticing changes there as well, right? 
So you want to you want to look at that. You want to look at or every food. Go through your go through it. You might have to give up some food, even some food you like different. You know, you really love, right? Because it is going to affect your behavior, how you think, and everything. You know, and like I say, you got it. You you can't really. You can take suggestions from other people, but you got to find out for yourself. Like me, uh, I eat a limited amount of meat. And it's not even for a protein thing, but I, that's because I can eat a limited amount of meat. Now, the next person might, you know what, they might need to take it out at all. The next person might need to eat mostly meat, you know, because everybody got something like, uh, like I can, like I can get down on some shellfish, even though there are groups out there who feel like you shouldn't eat shellfish. But shoot, I can do do with shellfish without any problems. But my son, he has an allergy, so he he won't touch anything that got shrimp or crab or anything like that. All right, he has an allergy towards it. So people got to figure that out. In fact, uh, looking at my son one time, I remember there was a time he wasn't eating anything. He had some type of uh, cold medicine, and it gummed him up. I mean, this dude, it it, it was it was messing his head up. Like we were like really concerned. Me and his mother, we were just like, wow. But we know we know he can't eat that particular, uh, he can't use that particular cold medicine, all right? Because, I mean, that, that was gumming his, I mean, it was gumming his brains up. So the healthy diet, I mean, that's a very important to thinking, you know. And, you know, for the advanced people, you know, tapping into some uh, abilities, all right? So very important. Anyway. As always, think on this. Peace and blessings.